welcome back to Making It with the Matthews. If you're new here, I'm Melissa, and on our channel, we do a lot of lifestyle content as well as travel content. And today, we are giving you a mix of both, a little bit of lifestyle and a little bit of travel, as we're currently on Second Sunday on King Street. Yes, you heard that right, and you can see it as well. King Street is completely shut down between Queen Street as well as Calhoun Street. So just about a half a mile block. And so many people are out here for this second Sunday in February. But what you should know is that second Sunday on King happens every second Sunday of the month. The businesses open their doors to the pedestrians as they walk around and frolic between restaurants, between shops as well as enjoy some street vendors who are doing pop-ups. So we love to attend Second Sunday on King because it gives you a nice people watching vibe, but it also allows you to check out small businesses. And as it is Black History Month, we are hoping to see some small businesses that are black owned or female owned that we can support today. So what we're gonna do is link down below where you can find all of the second Sunday dates, but we're excited to check out all of the festivities. So come along with us, let's do this. Vintage, which is a vintage inspired jewelry brand, and I'm doing a pop up with Love Check Fancy at Charleston today. And you look amazing! Thank you! Right now, there are Girl Scouts over there selling cookies for four dollars a box and five boxes for twenty dollars, and they're earning points towards getting a trip or like gifts. You'll see that. I 
I went shopping a little bit. We got some Girl Scout cookies. We also got a Bloody Mary mix, which I'll be mixing with either tequila or vodka. All right, I may. Original and then spicy on this side. Oh, can I try both? Yeah, of course. You're right here. This one's spicy? Yes, ma'am. Oh, you can sit it halfway and then we'll add a little bit of this in there. So this is made with yellow tomatoes instead of red tomatoes. Mm. So yellow tomatoes are going to be a lot less acidic than red tomatoes. This is good. So you're not getting, yeah, you're not getting that acid reflux. It's a lot more refreshing. And we make it with all natural ingredients. So there's no artificial preservatives, low sodium, low sugar, concentration. What are you good, recording? babe. Do you want to try it? So good. Hi hey. there. Hi. I'm Melissa. Tell us all about your business. Hey, Melissa. My name is Scott Crabner. I'm the executive vice president and part owner of Natural Blonde Bloody Mary Mix. So we're very proud right here in Charleston, uh, South Carolina, and uh, we are the only yellow tomato Bloody Mary Mix in the world. So the thing about yellow tomatoes, you'll see right in the bottom where we get that color from. The other thing that's really cool. Yellow tomatoes have lower acidity. So we have low acidity, we don't use paste. Most Bloody Marys are paste and water. So we only use kind of fresh, high grade yellow tomatoes. We have no artificial preservatives, we're gluten free. Oh, that's amazing. We're much lower in sodium. For all these reasons, we have really, really, really uh, attracted a great audience of Bloody Mary connoisseurs but also non-Bloody Mary drinkers. People that just want something that tastes really good or always wanted to try it. Uh, so we just had a really light, refreshing, and bold. Is that what you, yeah. you added? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm What'd thinking. What'd you think of it? So I loved it, yeah. and I'm not really a Bloody Mary fan. Yeah. So you said that exactly yeah. right. So, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, so we're excited. So what kind of alcohol can I add to this? It's a great question. So today is Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. So we're going to have a little bit of fun today. We are in a... We're, we can do like a... An array of different mixers, but for us, the traditional is vodka. Okay. Uh, but I would say today we've been doing micheladas, which is oh. beer. We've been using Coors Original today. So wait, the one I had had beer in it? Nope. Oh, was, okay. No, our alcohol is over here. Gotcha. Okay. But uh, tequila, uh, mezcal, very popular for nice smoky flavor, um, cucumber gin like Hendrix, and also rye whiskey. Wonderful. So, okay, yeah. so I'm going to take one of those then. Okay, great. Yeah. Absolutely. How much is uh, one bottle? One million dollars. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's for $12. Awesome. We'll Thanks take Melissa. one. Uh, we've already had so much fun. The last thing that's on my list to do is get some food. I think I'm going to try the smoked chicken leg. And um, I'm really excited to see how that tastes because I absolutely love smoked food. So yeah, that's it so far and everything's going great. Mainly family content, and um, we're Family Channel, and our kids aren't here today, but we have three kids, twins, J3 and Kylie, and then Baby oh, Drew, baby Drew, one and a half year old Baby Drew. <laughs> so um, come check us out, we're a fun family, we love to do fun things, and I think you love our content. And we love making it with the Matthews! Yay! <laughs> you hear that sizzle, girl? Hi! What's going on? 
Oh, the watch rooftop. That's oh, yeah, the rooftop ball. Nice. Yeah, that's all right. Your burgers right are time. good? Oh, if I'm going to make them here, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. They look so good. They do look good. Are you going to try it? Yeah. The ketchup mayo on it, too. And for your trip, did you want to do this? Okay, so this is from the Watch Hotel. Oh, well, there's the tables the over there. The Watch Rooftop. Oh, that is good. Mmm. You might have to get one now. That's so good. So a rooftop. Big up to somebody. You got to authenticate your Jamaican this. Because otherwise I know you're from England. Yeah. Otherwise. No, no, no. It's, you can't put me on the spot. Okay, <laughs> try! <laughs> Music, stop, stop it! Walking, I'm come from yard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like fly with that. <laughs> if you're taking somebody to Jamaica, where are you taking them yeah, to? Yeah, the golden doodle. Ooh. That's the I'm you testing like your Jamaican car. Do, okay, so I do like Sandals Resort, so I'm yeah. taking there. And I do like, like to go to Dungeon Falls. <laughs> I haven't been there since I've done the right Okay, give me something so. local. I don't, I like Where are you going for ice cream? Oh, Devon House ice cream, of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. He said Devon House. He said Devon House. Devin House. Devin House. Uh, hello there, my name is KJ. Uh, I'm the owner of KJ Style Barbecue and Catering. Uh, I have been actively open since October 15th of 2020. And I have been told that I got some of the best barbecue in the city. That's what they tell me. Hopefully, um, hopefully a nice little expansion to bring my food closer to you. Um, but Monday through Friday, you can always catch me here downtown at uh, 80 Broad Street. It's right next to City Hall. Um, at, from Monday through Friday from 11 to 2 and then you can also catch me in the market uh, from 11 to 3 Wednesdays and Fridays and then uh, on Saturdays uh, I am off of Dorchester Road at 4951 Dorchester Road and I'm there from 12 to 6 so you can always find me follow me on Instagram I always post where I am where my location is uh, it's at KJ underscore style 88 uh, follow me and um, hopefully you can get some of this barbecue sooner than later. I'm about to try the smoked chicken leg and you hear music barking. It means that he already smells the aroma and how amazing the food is. So let's just go ahead and try it. Smoked chicken leg, you guys, with beans. What do you want, babe? Those look very smoky. Yeah. Oh, did you get it from the place that had like the California? Oh, that's pasta? Yeah. What style is that? Connecticut. That's okay. The other one's cold. Can I take that piece? This looks like rice. It does. Does it taste like pasta? Oh, I remember that. that was a yeah. Can I try some? Yeah. yeah. It tastes like oily though. Come on, make it. Make it work. just finished exploring all of Second Sunday on King. The crowds are starting to go down and people are leaving, but we had such a good time and we truly hope that you enjoyed the experience and that we'll see you guys in the next video.